How do I shoot and film my cycling videos? I'm gonna show you guys that today. But first, you might notice, looks a little different here. That's because I painted the wall black. And it went pretty smoothly until my son, my two-year-old son got into the paint. It made me a little upset. I'm not gonna lie, I yell. Painting went pretty smooth. The reason I did it is I felt like I was blending in with the wall. I didn't think it looked good. I'm kind of regretting the black. What do you guys think? Does it look cool? You like it? Let me know what you think. All right, so let me show you what you clicked on the video for. I got the GoPro. GoPro Hero 7. Uh, I didn't want to spend a lot of money, so I bought this guy. And I think it was like 250 bucks Canadian. Everything's gonna be in the links below. Canadian and US links from wherever you're watching this. Let's hit record. All right, we're recording each other. That's it. What does it look like? When I'm here, I got the Sony ZV-1, which is a great little camera. Let's get a shot of that guy. And I got the Godox SL60. I have it bolted up on my shelf here. Hopefully you can see that. Let me get the other light on so you guys can see what's going on. Wanna test the light. In filming, lights are a big deal. They're a big deal. This Godox, Godox SL60, I think it's like 120 bucks, and it's friggin' awesome. It comes with this, uh, with this guy here. So to shoot my product videos, I have this piece of wood. I just, I'm gonna test this out for the first time, this piece of wood. And then this little guy right here is the clip that I hooked the GoPro on, and then it just shoots shoots down like that. And as you can see, I got some unboxings here I'm gonna do. Here's my GoPro, I bought this for 30 bucks, I'm gonna link this too. It's cheap, it's just like filled, like here's the chest, that's the head strap, this is the chest strap, and it's all cheap stuff, but it works. It's got like a selfie stick. This one like clips on to, you can clip that onto your shirt or your hat or whatever. The Godox comes with this remote. You can change the brightness. There's my coffee, love my coffee. So when I'm cruising, put this down, see if that works. I fold this guy up like this, right? And I just stick him in the bag like this, like that. And then as I'm riding along, I pull it out, open it up, give it a little tweak, boom. I'm vlogging, I'm vlogging, see, like this, boom. Sorry, I know I'm nerdy, I know. These are the only two cameras I have, and this is, from what I did my research, this is like the best camera that you can get for the money. It's like a vlogger's camera. Audio is important, so as you can see, I got this on the outside. This lav mic is only like 40 bucks, and then it's recording the audio separately on the Sony, can't remember the model number, it's in the description, it's in the description. And so uh, in post-production, I put the audio track on top, I sync it all up. Syncing it up, when I first heard of it, I thought, okay, this is gonna be, this is gonna be crazy. Like, it, it sounds really daunting, uh, but once you do it a couple times, it, it, it's really, it's really not a big deal. I do all my editing in Premiere Pro, Adobe. I got a really good deal, I got like 30 US bucks a month, and I got all the Adobe products. Uh, the selfie stick I think is like 50 bucks. All the stuff's in the, in the, in the description, in the description. I got the Ornop bar bag. Watch for my next video coming up. I got the Roadrunner Burrito Supreme. Burrito Supreme Roadrunner. And my next video is gonna be a review of this guy and I'm gonna compare it to the Ornop, which one I think is better. I got another video coming up. I got my first sponsor, Nutrition Product. Gonna be telling you guys what I think about that. It's a slow, it's a long journey. It takes a while to learn everything, but there's a ton of YouTube videos. There's all these slogans out there. Punch fear in the face and press record. Like that one. Make a hundred crappy videos. Like that one too. Uh, and that's about it, guys. 
but you can get off the ground pretty cheap. Uh, you don't even need the Sony. You could just roll this guy. It's nice to have the additional shots, but if you really took your time uh, editing, it would take you a little more time, but like to do the close-ups on, 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 you could use your phone. Um, or you could use your phone for the primary camera. You could use the GoPro for the secondary shot. But if you're on a budget, what I would highly recommend is get the GoPro Hero 7. Love this guy. I've had no issues with it. This mic, 40 bucks. And this, uh, the recorder is 100 bucks. And what's great, when you're on the bike and you need to record the audio, and it, it's hard when you're going or you stop and there's a lot of loud noise, this, may, this gives you, this makes it able for you to get really clear audio. And plus, you can get extra wind protection on them. One second. Right, you put this little guy on top and it stops the wind. I did buy one of these. I did buy one of these guys, these shotgun mics. This is a Boyo. I don't really use this too often because I find the quality on this so much better. And then I'm not worried about it. Like, because the audio is recorded separately, I don't have to worry about where I am in proximity to the camera. Like, I could come all the way back here right and you're like you can hear me just as good because i got the i got the recorder in my pocket i saw that on another youtube channel and it it was just so such a great idea and it's cheap 140 bucks and you have awesome audio wherever you go uh like i said watch for some upcoming videos Hope you enjoyed this one. To start doing this stuff, it, for me, it really seemed daunting at the beginning, but now that I look back, just starting, like just start and post a video. If you're thinking about doing YouTube and like cycling YouTube stuff, really the hardest part with it, for me anyways, I don't know what it would be like for other people, but the hardest part for me was like getting over that fear of people judging me, like putting the videos out and like, you know, especially like, you don't know who's watching it and you're worried that they're all making fun of you or whatever. I mean, I don't know if you feel like that, but I, but I feel like that sometimes, not all the time. Um, and it's just you're worried about getting judged. I mean, I think that's, that's for me, was, is still one of the hardest parts. You know, you put out a video, it gets 50 views and you're like, shit, I suck. And it's hard. It's, you know, that's the hard part. I'm not crying. I'm not a baby. I'm not going to say, hey, poor me, poor me, poor me. I'm not doing it. I'm just trying to tell you how I feel about it. I think I'm rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that's it. I'll see you guys on the next video. We'll see you soon.